everybody, I am the Lazy Kiwi and today I'm going to be showing you guys 20 of the mods that I am currently using in my own game and I do highly recommend all of these. Starting off in Cas with the first mod is of course going to be the More Columns mod. This is especially like an essential if you have a ton of custom content because it could take hours and I mean hours to search through everything when you only have two columns but this way you can see a lot more and find the things that you want a lot easier as well. Now I'm gonna go through these pretty quickly because there are quite a few of them and I don't want to be here for days but the next mod is going to be the Sparrow Tidy Cas mod which this helps a ton with organization and especially with layering. So it's basically just this. And this shows you where a new section begins so that you can layer a lot easier. Therefore, you never have to worry about clicking something and removing the previous thing that you added on. And honestly, it has helped me out so much in the past. And yeah, I just highly recommend this one, especially for your skin details. And last for Cass, but definitely not least, and I have showed this before, but I absolutely love this one, is basically just elf ears. Now you can't really see it with her hair, let me just quickly change her hair. You basically just go into detail edit mode and then you can just move the ears and make your own little elf ears and I love it. You can make them any size you could possibly think of. It's just such a great mod, especially if you like fantasy and whatnot. Next up we have my three most essential mods. I refuse to play the game without these and the first of those being MC Command Center. I've mentioned this in a previous mod review video before and I will mention it in any other mod reviews in the future because this mod is fantastic it helps out with so many different things you basically just click on your computer on the mc command center thingy and then you find a ton of settings and i mean a ton you can even set the limits of babies that people in the neighborhood can have like let's say you don't want anybody to have more than two children you can do that with this mod you can also set the amount of alien abductions and then if we go to sims you also get a really lovely little tab again under mc command center where you can do a ton of other things including pregnancy settings like making your sim pregnant choosing the amount of babies seeing the amount of babies this sim is currently heavily pregnant as you can tell and i do not want to know the gender or the amount of babies that she's going to be having because she is part of my let's play if you guys do follow that so therefore i'm not gonna click on that now but you can also do a bunch of other things like teleporting a ton of sims to your sim and so on and so forth that's probably the largest mod like there is just so much things that you can do but i cannot live without it so it's an essential for me speaking about essentials and next up we have the ui cheats mod this mod is a must-have especially if you're into like storytelling and you don't really want to care about needs this mod literally changes my life you can just click onto the emotion and it changes everything. Like you can set anything, including money. Oh, that that's also a part of it. If you left click on your money, you gain 1000 simoleons. And if you right click on your money, you can literally say, oh, actually, I just want them to have 7,000 simoleons and nothing more. Or you can make them billionaires, easy as pie. <laughs> There's also a ton of other things you can do with this, including setting the time or setting the weather. And I absolutely love this mod. It's an essential for like photos and a ton of other things. I highly, highly recommend this one. And my last must have, like cannot live without mod, is the Better Build by mod. This mod changed my life. You can literally change the color of the lights in build by mode like 
I it's unbelievable. It's life changing. <laughs> But this mod adds so much more than just changing the color of, of your lights. Basically, you have organized the debug, move objects can be on at all times, you don't have to add in the cheat, and you can ignore unlocks with this mod like immediately. You also get to organize the debug, which does mean that going to any part of the game you find debug items just you know, organized. So here you can find trees that you could never find here before, including things like cow plants and even the mother. You can even buy her. <laughs> Moving on to some other mods, one of my favorites at the moment is going to be the ISO Love Photos camera. So this little camera right over here is a game changer when it comes to taking photos in the game. I'm going to quickly post my sims to show you what I mean with this. So let's say you have your sims posed and you really really want to take a photo of them but you have no other sims in your household and there is nobody around to take these photos for you. That's where this mod comes in. This mod changed my life. You literally click on it and you say take photo and then it immediately just takes you into the camera mode. You take the photos that you want and it's as simple as pie like this is such a life-changing mod. I will love this mod for the rest of my freaking life and honestly I do think that this is one of my essentials at this point because I really just do love this mod so much. And then going hand in hand with this mod, I have another mod that again also really really changes up the way that photos work in this game. The next mod is called Photographic Memory and basically you just buy this little flash drive over here and then this flash drive when you click on it and you say photo studio, create photo gifts what you can do, and this is incredible, is you can make your own photos and just photos that you took and make them into other prints like a calendar or a little photo print. So let's say we go for this one. It uses the photos that are in your inventory. So let us actually take one of these that I just took. Now it does cost 25 simoleons every time, but I do think that's more realistic. And then if we look over here, we can see a bunch of photos that I've already did this with. And you can find it in your inventory and then you can just place it anywhere that you would like. And I am actually obsessed with this because just look at that. Look at how beautiful this looks. I love it. I absolutely love this mod. Next up we have Meaningful Stories and basically this mod just changes the way that emotions work completely and by that I mean let's say your sim gets really depressed, somebody dies or something, they actually have to overcome it, like it doesn't just go away all of a sudden and it's just such a nice mod to have. I feel like my game has been much more realistic with the emotions since I've added this and honestly I do believe this is also a must have because it just really changes the emotions. Going hand in hand with the previous mod, we do have the have some personality please mod. And this one again also changes the way that the emotions and things work. So you have more autonomy, no idle chat, risky woohoo, try for baby chances, ghost risky woohoo, and a ton of other things. There's just a ton of things that this mod adds that just makes the game so much more realistic and I genuinely love that. And with the meaningful stories, all of these things that it does add will just feel so much more realistic and I genuinely highly recommend this mod. The next one isn't that big of a mod but I genuinely love this. It's no restaurant bill when being invited and I feel like that's pretty realistic seeing as why should you always pay when somebody else invites your sim out? It doesn't make any sense and therefore this mod is a must have. The next one is again a pretty small mod but it just adds a little bit more to children's lives so kids can ask what's for dinner, talk about favorite cartoons, talk to classmates on the computer and honestly it 
few other things and I just feel like it adds so much more to the kids and it's not a lot but I genuinely feel like it makes a difference and therefore I highly recommend this one as well. The next mod is again pretty simple and I honestly really really love this mod. You basically just take your sims to bed and what's going to happen next is the most adorable little thing that I've ever seen in my entire life. They cuddle. They actually cuddle with each other. Isn't that just the cutest little thing you've ever seen? This mod is called the bed cuddle mod and I love it so much. I really really just feel like this little interaction adds so much much more to the game and I highly recommend this one. The next mod is the hide and squeak mod. This mod adds smaller rodent cages and honestly if you look at the ginormous size of the rodent cages like how they usually are it's a lot. It's really so much and just take a look at it. Just take a look at the size difference between these two. Like it's not even comparable like it's insane and honestly like in real life i would highly recommend a much larger cage for rodents and stuff like that but it's just the sims and i don't want that large of a cage like honestly look at you can place it anywhere literally anywhere on to some of my favorite mods we have the wonderful whims mod this mod is insane. It adds attractiveness to your game. Now I know there is now sexuality preferences in the game, but this just still adds so much more. Like your sims can be attracted to certain body types, certain facial features, a lot of different things and I really, really love that. There's also personalities, like you know these 16 personalities like INFTJ, what, 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 I don't know. I don't even know if that's one of them, but you get the point. They are also added into the game and your son is just randomly assigned one. And I feel like that's a ton of fun. I love that so much. There's also menstrual cycles, birth control, crabs, STDs, relationship additions, a ton of different things that it just adds and enhances and I feel like that's so much fun. Next up we have the preteen mod. I love preteens in this game and you don't get them if you don't have this mod. I absolutely love this. I feel like this is a life stage that the game just completely missed out on and I highly recommend this. You get so many things with it like a simple hygiene system, middle school and basically the way that it works is once your sim is a child and they age up, they immediately just age up into a preteen and I love that. I feel like that's incredible and this is a must have for me. Next up, we have the realistic childbirth mod. This mod is insane. It has so many different ways to have birth and they're all realistic like surgery machine, natural delivery, a home birth even, like the home birth is a lot more of a newer option, but it's insane. And this just basically does exactly what it says it's going to realistic births like you actually have to dilate and do things to dilate quicker and i just love it if this one is just so realistic however i do have to say it takes a very long time for your sims to give birth so if you do not like that i might not recommend this however there are other options like the c-section that is a lot faster and it's still just as beautiful so i do still recommend this one it's just such a nice mod next up we have the relationship and pregnancy overhaul aka woohoo wellness as some of us may know it this mod again hand in hand with the realistic childbirth one because this just adds so much more to pregnancy and i absolutely do love it like it adds a ton of modules like module one pregnancy preferences and interactions like do your sim actually want children or not or are they neutral or you know like things like that next up is fertility pregnancy risk and protection like there's actually a ton of things that go into it like you can actually sterilize your sims if you were wanting to do that you get stds paternity testing if you may 
wonder who the father of the child is, teen pregnancy even, unwanted pregnancy acceptance, separation options, this just adds so many things and I absolutely love this mod, highly highly recommend this, like do not walk to get this, run! <laughs> The next mod is a game changer for me especially and anybody who probably plays a legacy challenges and challenges with a lot of generations and a lot of family members. This mod changed my life, I've been searching for something like this for such a long time. This mod is called It's All Gravy and basically what it does is it just adds these beautiful little urns and gravestones and whatnot which are also customizable like you can change the colors and some of them are pretty beautiful like look at these i love these so much but it just adds a ton of them into the game and basically what it does is let us say a sum of yours has died in the family and you have no idea where their grave is you basically just click on this and you say in memory of and it will show sims that you know that have died and these are family members from the past which have passed away and let's say i actually do not know where bean's grave is so i will just add bean to this and there we go rest in peace bean hearts and then the last mod but certainly not least this is also by Robachine. i love this little mod so if you guys know the little kit that came with the s'mores i cannot remember for the life of me which one that was it basically added these beautiful s'mores into the game that you cannot use so, Ravashin has made a little something that actually makes the s'mores usable. So you can either get this little sign or you can get the s'mores themselves. Let me just find them. There we go. It's either this one or it's the s'more tray. But basically, you can now actually go and make s'mores. So let's say I want a party size of these freaking s'mores. You can also do it over here, grab and go or roast marshmallows. So it's actually very, very simple. Your sim will just go up to the tray and make some s'mores. Easy as pie. But yeah, that is all of the mods that I have for you guys for today. So thank you all so, so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, please do consider liking and subscribing to my channel. And I will definitely see you all in another video. Goodbye, everybody. He has a little s'more.